Hello students, we were discussing question paper. We had discussed till question 5, which are one mark type. Let us move on with question number 6. The question number 6 is related to arithmetic progression. They have given minus 1.1 minus 3.1 minus 5.1 minus 7.1 and so on write the first term and the common difference here the first term a is minus 1.1 and the common difference is second term minus the first term Usually, the first term is denoted by letter A and the common difference by letter D. So, if I write A2 minus A1, the second term is minus 3.1 minus of minus 1.1. We get it as minus 3.1 plus 1.1 and the difference is negative 2. Hence, the first term is minus 1.1 and common difference is negative 2. Question number 7, this internal choice for this question, these are the questions related to quadratic equation. The first question is to solve for x, here they have given x plus 2 multiplied to 3x minus 5 equal to 0. In such cases, if the product is equal to 0, either x plus 2 is 0 or 3x minus 5 equal to 0. Therefore, we have the value of x as negative 2 or x value is positive 5 by 3. These are the values of x are roots of the given equation. There is an optional question. In this optional question, we need to uh, check whether two distinct real roots exist or not. For that, let me write the given equation x square minus 3x plus 4 equal to 0. Let me find the value of the discriminant. The value of discriminant is given by b square minus 4ac. Here, uh, b square is negative 3 whole square minus 4 times of a value is 1 and c value is 4. On simplification, this becomes 9 minus 16 which is less than 0 it means that no real roots or it can also be called as imaginary roots exist question number 8 what is the angle between the tangent to a circle and radius through the point of contact we all know that whenever we have a tangent to the circle, the tangent touches the circle at only one point. If this is the point of contact, let me name the tangent as AB. If O is the center of the circle, P is the point of contact. If you draw radius, this radius will be perpendicular to the tangent. Therefore, the angle between the tangent and radius through the point of contact is 90 degree. Therefore, angle OPB is 90 degree. A right angle is formed. Question 9. In question 9, there is internal choice and both the questions are related to circles. Question 9 is two concentric circles with center O and radii 5 cm and 3 cm from a point external point P two tangents PA and PB are drawn to these circles you can observe for the larger circle the tangent is PA for the smaller circle the tangent is PB if PA is equal to 12 cm then what is the length of PB this is the question and for the option we have two concentric circles of radii 5 cm and 3 cm find the length of the card of the larger circle in cm which touches the smaller circle 
let's solve the first one i'll consider the same figure here is a figure in this we need to find the length of pb it's given that they are the concentric circles there are two radii one of the radii is oa which is for the larger circle 5 cm and ob is given as 3 cm and the length of pa is 12 cm we all know that the radius is perpendicular to the tangent so when we have the triangle pao in triangle pao angle pao is 90 degree because the radius is perpendicular to tangent So we can make use of Pythagoras theorem here. The length of OP will be equal to square root of PA square plus AO square. And the length of PA is 12 square and the length of AO is 5 square. So it becomes a root of 144 plus 25 we get it as 13 similarly there is another right angle triangle in triangle PBO angle PBO is 90 degree now we have the length of PO and OB we need to find the length of PB so the length of pb will be equal to under root op square which is hypotenuse square minus another side ob square the length of op just now we have found it's 13 so root of 13 square minus 3 square we get it as under root 160 which is root of 16 times 10 so this can be written as 4 root 10 centimeter. Hence, the length of tangent PB is 4 root 10 centimeter. This is for the first question. And now the internal choice will solve. Let me consider the sub question. Two concentric circles of radii 5 centimeter and 3 centimeter find the length of the card of larger circle in centimeter which touches the small circle let me draw a figure for that here you observe the concentric circles the card which is for the larger circle is a tangent for the small circle observe in triangle OCA angle OCA is 90 degree because the radius is perpendicular to tangent so the length of OA square will be equal to OC square plus AC square they have given the length of OC which is the radii of larger circle sorry smaller circle OA is the radius of larger so 5 square minus 3 square will be the length of ac square therefore we get 25 minus 9 as the length of ac square which is 16 so the length of ac is positive 4 centimeters we know that perpendicular from center of circle to the card bisects the card therefore the length of AC will be equal to the length of CB this implies the length of AB as 2 times the length of 4 centimeters 
so the length of ab is 8 cm so we have found the length of the car which is a tangent to the inner circle question number 10 in figure d is the midpoint of side bc and ae is perpendicular to bc if bc is a centimeters let me mention this here it's a centimeters ac is b centimeters ab is c centimeters ed is x ad is p ae is h we need to prove that b square minus c square is equal to ax look at the triangles here we have got right angle triangles suppose if i consider the right angle triangle aec we get b as the hypotenuse the same time if you consider the right angle triangle aed p will be the hypotenuse and if you consider the right angle triangle a b e c will be the hypotenuse now let me mention in triangle a e a e c we have hypotenuse as b square b square will be equal to h square plus x plus the length of ac is sorry bc is a units thus uh, thus the length of dc will be a by 2 because d is the midpoint so x plus a by 2 whole square let us further simplify this we get it as this implies b square is equal to h square plus x square plus a square by 4 plus 2 times of x into a by 2 so this get cancel will be getting x into a now if you consider the length of c square as hypotenuse in triangle abe c square will be equal to h square plus the length of uh, bd is a by 2 so this is a by 2 minus x the whole square so we get c square as h square plus a square by 4 plus x square minus Two times of a by two into x. Two and two will go cancel. Let me call this particular thing as one, and this as equation two. Now equation one minus equation two will be getting b square minus c square in the left hand side. In the right hand side, it becomes h square plus x square plus a square by four plus a x. now we have got minus so minus h square minus a square by 4 minus x square plus ax so let us cancel out those things which are one positive term one negative term h square get cancels x square get cancels a square by 4 also get cancels will will be getting ax added to ax which is 2 times of ax hence we have proved that b square minus c square is equal to 2 times of ax question number 11 which term of arithmetic progression 21 42 63 84 on so is 420 here in this particular arithmetic progression the first term 
the first term a is 21 the common difference is a second term minus the first term the common difference is also 21 here the nth term is given as 120 so we'll make use of the formula a plus n minus 1 into d as a n which is 420 a value is 21 plus n minus 1 into 21 equal to 420 so we'll be getting 21 added to 21 times of n so it is 21 n minus 21 equal to 420 21 21 they get cancelled we will be having 21 times of n is equal to 420 so n will be equal to 420 divided by 21 which is 20 so 20th term is 420 of given arithmetic progression this is how you need to find the value of n. Question 12. Prove the identity. We need to consider left hand side and then prove that it's equal to right hand side. Let me consider the left hand side. In the left hand side we have cosecant a minus sin a multiplied to secant a minus cos a into tan a plus cot a we all know that 1 by sin a will be cosecant a and 1 by cos a is secant a and I'll express tan A and cot A in terms of sine and cos. So sin A by cos A plus cos A by sin A. In this particular term, if I take the LCM, it becomes 1 minus sine square A upon sin A is multiplied with 1 minus cos square A upon cos A. In this, if you take the LCM, this will be sin square A plus cos square A upon sin A into cos A. 1 minus sin square A is cos square A upon sin A into 1 minus sin square A, 1 minus cos square A is sin square A upon cos A into this will be 1 divided by sin a into cos a if you observe two times sin square is this sin a is there two times cos a is there in the denominator so finally we'll be getting cos square a into sin square a upon cos square a into sin square a so this will be equal to one which is right hand side hence we have proved that left hand side equal to right hand side you can try this question, question number 13 and we shall take this question and further in the next session. Thank you.